Hi everyone, John here. Whiskey 3, Juliet Alpha Radio. Uh, Morse code is really a passion of mine, and so is QRP work. And, you know, really what I wanted to do was to see if there was something out there that can untether me from uh, headphone use. And that would still sound great. And uh, after searching for a while for some plans, uh, I stumbled across November 5 India Whiskey, as well as Kilo Quebec 2 Romeo Papa, their plans for building a tuned CW speaker. So I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to um, help be able to listen to some code while um, cleaning or doing something else as opposed to having them on the headphones. So after looking at the plans, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to really show the step-by-step -step build uh, via video. So um, hope you enjoy it. I had a blast. Uh, filming it and boy does it work so uh hopefully all of you can enjoy this project and keep in mind it's about seven bucks with everything included so uh see you okay later. and here are the materials as you can see there are three segments of pvc pipe uh each of which has a different purpose and some of the scavenged parts that i'll use um for this project for the cover for the speaker I will use a CD case and I'll cut out one of the circles to place directly over the speaker. This speaker I got from eBay, uh, I think it was about a dollar. Two inch speaker, 0.5 watts, 8 ohms. An elbow joint, 45 degrees. This will be used to um, change the direction of the, pit, the sound coming out. And last but certainly not least, a stand. As you can see, um, pretty straightforward. Two missing pieces to keep in mind that I'm still waiting for. Uh, one is a 3.5 millimeter jack, which I'm going to use to connect this to the radio to. Um, in addition to that, uh, there's also a little sleeve that I need to determine what I can use for it. I'll look around the, the shack to see if there's anything that might suit it. But basically what I'm going to do is insert the speaker into this bottom section, eventually glue it right to the top of this, like so. Take this guy here, place it on top, insert this guy in here like this, and there's this little half inch wide PVC pipe right here, and it's going to connect um, a little, not a little piece of paper, but a segment of paper that I can use and create a tube to extend to hit that perfect pitch, if you will. Um, for okay, so this is where I am now. Um, I took one of the segments and drilled a one-eighth hole in it and thread some of the speaker cable through. Also rewired the actual um, speaker in here uh, so that when you flip it over it's basically just the speaker sitting right here. Additionally what's going to happen is as I seat this down correctly this is where I add the lens that I just cut out. Keep in mind that little center part that's uh, an eighth as well. So that fits in nice and snug um, for the areas that are a little bit more um, there's a little space, that's where I'm going to add in some of the hot glue, so there won't be any space in there. So now that you see this, um, we are slowly but surely getting there. All so right. we have uh, glued the lens on here, and also on the base I uh, glued a piece of, I guess, cardboard where the little hole okay. is. So the uh, lens is dried on, speaker is now re-put in there. I put a little knot in the uh, speaker wire just so that in the future if anyone tugs on it, it's not going to be yanking out the speaker wires. And um, here's the CD again. The one thing I am going to do before I um, put this or mount this on is just shove some of this deadening material in the back. And uh, I'm just going to glue the outside. I'm going to stick this guy on right here so it dries tonight. All right, so this little guy is glued. Um, sorry for the terrible picture. This airtight seal holds right smack dab in the middle of the speaker. This little guy, this little cardboard thing, is also all set. A couple of things, we're going to let these two dry. 
We're going to glue both of them together. Remembering, sorry, to add this to the bottom, just to deaden the sound just even more. Now, remember how I said that this little part of the tube is going to be like a slider. Well, we need something that falls right in here. And um, per the instructions, we should get a um, piece of a plastic sheet about 1 30th width. So, what if I have about 100 of these? Um, this will be our little secret. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take a 2 inch wide by 6 inch long strip out of this um, to create that little center part that we'll be able to adjust okay. in and out. So here's the um, a little bit longer strip. I think it was probably about, um, about 8 inches. So also when I'm sending some code, I can learn about apple and basket, carrot and duck. Anyways, um, I've scratched this little part right here um, to make it nice and rough. I'm going to put a bunch of glue all right in here. Let me see if I could do this in one hand. But basically, I'm going to wrap this around and stuff it in here for tonight to let the glue cure. So what you'll notice is that our little tube cannot be slid. Um, it kind of glued pretty nicely, so I'm happy with that. So it can go in and out, and which is what this half-inch PVC and this longer PVC pipe um, is really for. It's acting as a slide. Uh, what you'll also notice is that the glue here has finally dried. Um, nothing crazy about it. What I am going to do next is a couple of different things. Uh, number one, I'm going to install the... Um, the plug, as well as finally mounted on uh, the CD case. All right. So the speaker has been installed. It's all set. Um, I actually have it hooked up to an iPad. That's going to play exactly 600 hertz um, right into the speaker, and let's have a go. As you can see, um, it sounds really good. The slider, unfortunately, I'm going to be hard for me to slide in and out with just one hand. You'd hear it getting lower as it gets longer and louder as it gets even shorter. Um, actually, as it stands right now, this is the perfect length is what it looks like. So that little tube uh, maybe wasn't really all that necessary, but we'll keep playing with it and uh, see the, what happens. Uh, moment of truth. Uh, so what we'll do is we, uh, we just hooked it up to the uh, trusty old KX1. And let's see if anyone comes on in. So let's let it do its thing. Catch everyone. Let me make a little louder. Sounds really good, and this is even with the filter wide open. It... Wow. Now let me uh, go ahead and move the filter in. Wow, that sounds fantastic, actually. Um, Actually, really impressed with how this is working or how it's worked. Um, but as you can see, uh, stations come in pretty good. I'm gonna have to filter a little bit more. Let's see, 